Welcome to a new edition of Economy for Everyone on its digital version, a summary of the economical and financial information of Panama and the world. Let's begin. The sixth Ibero-American meeting of Ministers of Economy and Finance was held in Panama City on June 26. They committed themselves to their governments become catalyst for economic growth, work to reduce the levels of poverty and inequality, as well as closing the social gaps. Una reunión positiva donde encontramos muchos puntos similares en como como región latinoamericana y como iberoamérica. Primero de ver el impacto que está teniendo la crisis eh, europea y Estados Unidos en nuestras economías. Las tareas pendientes que tenemos como región, por ejemplo, la inequidad, eh, mejorar la institucionalidad, la distribución de riqueza, mejorar la infraestructura de la región eh, y también eh, combatir las reformas que tenemos que hacer para poder sostener un crecimiento hacia futuro y mejorar nuestra, nuestra productividad en nuestras economías para ser más competitivas ante el reto que está presentando la economía global. Panama is considered one of the most dynamic economies of the region and could grow by 3.5%. This was reported by Alicia Barcenas, General Secretariat of the Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean, ECLAC. Panamá tiene una gran ventaja porque es un, un país que se ha posicionado muy bien en materia de servicios en materia de facilitación de comercio, o sea, ha hecho mucho en el terreno de la infraestructura portuaria, de la infra... bueno, justamente lo que están ustedes haciendo, y también en, la, en, en convertirse en un hub, en un, en un polo de interconexión con toda la región. Eso yo creo que es muy positivo, es una visión de futuro que creo que puede ser muy útil. With an investment of $29.3 million, dollars, the national government inaugurated the Viaduct Avenida de los Martires, a project that will benefit 270,000 citizens who daily pass along this track of the capital city. The structure is composed of an overpass, a roundabout, a return to level, repaving, landscaping, and contemplated a monument in remembrance of the Panamanians who defended the national sovereignty in the former Canal Zone. In recent years, the province of Chiriquí has managed to sustain its economic potential through its natural resources. This growth can be displayed through the public investment projects that are carried on in the region with a performance by more than $380 million and an investment budget scheduled of $240 million for the year 2013. This investment is reflected in the construction of water purification, public markets, airports, roads, hospitals and Minsa Capsi, development of the coal change, among other large-scale works, a value added that aims to improve the quality of life of about 400,000 habitants. With this information, we conclude Economy for Everyone on its digital version. Remember to listen to us every Thursday from 3 to 4 p.m. on Radio Con and follow us on our social networks. Thank you for watching. See you next week.